Hi everyone, it is Liz de Noon here and it is a very windy day here but it's really beautiful and I thought it was time for another Facebook Live. Now I know most of us are in coronavirus lockdown again, I certainly am in Melbourne and uh, I wanted to give you three things that you should do if you notice that your child is struggling to learn. Now the first thing you should do is believe them. So generally when your child is struggling, they will tell you that they are struggling. They will actually say things like, mom, it's really hard, or mom, I can't do it, or dad, I don't get it, or it's too hard for me. The one thing about children that you notice very early on is they invariably don't tell lies. Little children don't generally tell lies about things like learning. So the number one thing I want you to do is believe them. Now number two thing that I want you to do is I want you to go and find the educator that is the most significant other in their life. So if it's their classroom teacher, then um, it's the classroom teacher. If you're a homeschooling mum, then maybe it's you or dad. If you are um, at a high school, um, in fact, if your child's at secondary school, then you might want to speak to um, maybe their homeschool tutor or their homeroom tutor, the person who actually um, has the most contact with them and potentially sees their work the most. And what I want you to do is I want you to ask them if they have observed any issues with your child's learning. Now that might be with their reading, their writing, their spelling, their ability to understand, to listen, um, to uh, be cognitive around inter in things that they're learning. Hi Lucy. And uh, so I want you to start there. So ask an educator. Now number three is where you start to join the gaps together or the dots together. I want you to look at the curriculum that's on offer for your child at your school or educational institution. And I want you to start looking at specific areas of the curriculum where your child is struggling, because it won't be every area. And the areas are really broad. So make sure you look at all the different areas. It could be math, for example, but it might not be all the areas at math. It could be um, number facts. It could be times tables. With their reading, they might be a great reader, but they may not be comprehending. They may be a great writer and very creative with their words and their oral vocabulary, but they may not be very good spellers. So I want you to be really specific. Um, how do you access the curriculum? Good question. You um, go to your school's website. Most schools will have the curriculum listed on their website and they will have the curriculum content listed for your child's age group um, for the year. So I want you to go onto the school's website and I want you to find out um, if the curriculum is on there. If it's not, then I want you to ring up the curriculum coordinator of the school or the year level coordinator of the school and I want you to ask for a online e-document of the school's curriculum and then I want you to go through it and I want you to tick tick off the areas that you see patterns in. Now yes your teachers can definitely help you with this. There should be a pattern and if you have some great educators in your school these patterns will be becoming pretty obvious when they're doing um, their assessing, their testing, their classwork and these are the things that should constantly come up in your school reports. Okay so we've listened to our child and listened to what they say. We've asked other educators to also align with what we're thinking and give us some feedback and some reinforcement of our concerns. And then we start to look at the year level curriculum or documents of what your child is supposed to be learning. Now the fourth thing I want you to do, and I know I said there was only three, but there's actually four. The fourth thing I want you to do is I want you to take action. So by action I mean Start looking at ways that you can assist your child in those specific areas. And I can always give you some clues on that down the track too. Um, that's the area that I kind of specialize in when it comes to finding the solutions. So there you go, I'm currently standing in my mum's garden. She's not very well, so I've been looking after her today. 
it is the most beautiful garden and it's spring here have a look there's magnolias there's lawn areas I'm standing with my back to the most beautiful rhododendron and uh, yeah it's just lovely so have a super day everybody and if you do have a child that's struggling I do want you to listen to your children because they wouldn't say they were struggling unless they weren't so good luck everybody with it and I will talk to you again very soon bye for now